Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at Little Mix. So they are singing right now, Think About Us at the Brits Are Coming. Oh, I have something here. Oh my god. So, as you maybe didn't know, I have a Little Mix playlist so you can see all of my breakdowns, analysis and reactions there. I would highly recommend it to you. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah? Hit the notification bell to not miss a video and let's go directly into that video. Let's go. When you're dancing in the club And the night's getting hot Do you think about us? Do you think about us? When the news gets so loud And the girls are all around Do you think about us? about you when I'm up in my hotel room need your love don't know what I'm gonna do my body's so hot baby missing you one touch is all I want I call my cause we go down to the club walk through the crocs and I find my love look in your eyes and the whole world stop you put your hand on my waist and then you pull me close but I promise I will This one stop, it was this, this time, oh god, it was never so hard to stop. But this arrangement, what is, what the fork is happening here, you know? This arrangement is amazing, I love this arrangement. Like, that, the drums, wow. I, I haven't heard, I never heard the song, but it literally, it's, wow, it's straight from the beginning, I really, really like it. And this time I have to say something about the arrangement, because I really like the arrangement very much. And I think the arrangement sticks out very, yeah, very clear more than the vocals. I mean, they are vocally always very good. They are really good live singers. Each of them has distinctive voices. They are power belters and um, they have big ranges. So it's really, it's really nice to have a girl band that sings live and they are really, really good. And they are harmonizing very well. They Okay, I just have to make another stop, like despite of that absolutely amazing arrangement with those drums, I like this drum. This time the drums win, they, they won everything. But you see they have a, they have a, the movement that they have is decent, it's nice and it's not too much dancing. Because there is a huge problem of people think, well I'm singing then I have to make a standout choreography. It's really really hard to sustain, you know. I think that there are a few stars that can really sing and dance at the same time, like Lady Gaga for example, she really is singing and dancing straight at the same time, and then we have others that use a lot of playback while dancing and singing. So what I have here, what we see here, I'm not a dancer, not a dance expert, but I'm a stage coach as well, so what we have done is also stage choreography, you know, and I think that here that's the best mix uh, uh, and a decent, decent movement that fits to the vocals, that is not too much and not too little, gives everyone the opportunity to shine vocally, yeah, doesn't cause any distress. And I think that's so important because many times we have already saw on this channel that too much movement, too much background movement can absolutely kill a song. We have songs here where <laughs> the background dances were just literally killing the whole performance because it was too, too much, yeah. Um, and here it's the perfect amount. My eyes see everything. 
so good with names, but Perry uh, with her, um, nah, Perry with her coat, ah, what do you call it, in English, snake, that snake coat, <laughs> I like that snake coat, it's so cool, it says, it gives me the Millennium Anastasia vibe, you know, with her glasses, and then this Millennium coat also gives me a little bit of Spice Girl vibe with those coat, you see, a lot, there are so many details that you have to take care of when you're on stage. It's good that we saw that video today, so it's not only about vocals playing, but it's also about stage choreography and performance. And um, it's always about to make a really good and solid performance, right? If you have a concert or you have something like that. If you are at the Oscars, I understand you want to pull it all off, but then you have much more time to work harder and practice. But here, in this case, I like it, it's very good. They have made a good presentation of the new single, they dance very well, they're just amazing, there's nothing left to say. If you're home, um, I would like to recommend you something. If you want to have a stage choreography, if you have a, a song title, right, and you want to audition with a musical piece, let's say for example a musical piece, please have several people look through it. Because since I'm in, in Asia here, I recognize that the approach for musical, Western musical, is much more different. They are highly over choreographing a lot, a lot of things. Like here in Singapore, I see a lot of things are highly over choreographed. There are little breaks in between. There are, you know, it's not what we would see uh, in the UK, for example, or on Broadway. Yeah. And um, so there's a different approach, and I recognize it also in Germany that in Germany is a little bit too low key. So try to, if you want to have a good piece, that you want to have a, choreogra uh, a choreography for it have at least, speak at least with two, three people. So my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please take care of yourself. 2019, start to kick ass. It's super highly important. Highly important is our favorite word today. <laughs> and yeah, if you don't know by now, I'm also on Instagram. No, I'm not that old. I am on Instagram, literally. Yeah, let's connect, let's be friends on Instagram and also on Facebook. And head over to tanyalevyvocals.com. I only have Skype uh, appointments left, no physical appointments anymore in Singapore. Okay, my friends, big kisses and I see you in my next video.